Hi folks, welcome back to Booze with Nick. Kind of an impromptu review today, hence I got dressed up. It doesn't matter, anything I wear couldn't be nearly as elegant as the wine I am drinking today. I have a bottle of, well, Sancerre <laughs> in my hands, uh, well, literally. Sancerre is a region in the eastern Loire River Valley in France. The Loire River Valley is in northwestern France. Sancerre is at the, uh, the easternmost headwaters of the river, uh, right next to the equally famous wine-producing region of Puy Fumé. Uh, Sancerre and its neighboring wines from Puy Fumé are known for having fantastic acidity, and this one is not disappointing in that regard. Um, it simply is a fantastic wine. It's the kind of Sauvignon that I like. <clears throat> Probably should have led with that. Uh, whites from Sancerre are Sauvignon. And this is about as far north as you can uh, grow a Sauvignon grape and still give it time to mature enough to have sufficient sugar content to actually make wine with it. It's at the same latitude as Champagne, which is, um, to the east, I don't know how many miles or kilometers. It's France, so it's probably like 20 miles away. Sorry, I'm an American. We're used to big distances. Um, as a rule, uh, cooler temperature white wines, well, wines in general, <clears throat> tend to express better acidity and what might be characterized as cleaner flavors. Now, that's going to be somewhat subjective, but it's, it's a, a generally accepted characterization within the wine world. Um, again, this one really is um, true to its uh, anticipated character. On the nose, um, some very clean lemony scents that are, you know, uh, typical of Sauvignon, especially cooler climate ones. A hint of a rose petal or some other sweet floral scent, not perfumey, um, just a very clean, nice, light, ever so gentle sweetness. Uh, none of the herbaceous or vegetal notes that you get on other Sauvignon uh, wines, even other cool climate ones, uh, like my beloved Marlboro New Zealand Sauvignons, which typically have a little bit of vegetal notes on them. This one really doesn't. I was hunting for some kind of stone or slate uh, or flint notes on it because McNeil said it sometimes there. Um, not in this one. Uh, on the palate, um, it's that polished sensation that, <clears throat> in my opinion, really um, well-structured, clean whites have because the acidity is, for lack of a better term, so nicely integrated into the body of the wine. I don't know if that's the best way to express it, but it just feels sleek in, in the mouth. And again, words like clean, polished, refined, elegant, spring to mind at every step um, in, in drinking a wine like this which is a big part of why I love uh, cold climate wines in general, in particular cold climate whites, in particular um, cold climate Sauvignon. This one is, um, I guess, in the bargain bin, so to speak, for uh, Sancerre. It was, I think, 25 for the bottle at the local Whole Foods. I think it was on sale for a modest 23. Uh, and that is, of course, one of the obstacles to enjoying um, French wines is that uh, to get anything that's, I guess, worthy of representing the, um, the terroir, you have to pay a little bit. Um, if 25 for a bottle is a little too dear for you, don't worry, uh, I will I frequently drink uh, far less expensive wines, and I'll try to be a little bit better about reviewing them on the channel to provide some sub-20 options out there. Uh, in the meantime, if it's um, if you're 
checkbook can accommodate it, and if you have the interest in experiencing uh, really elegant whites, uh, I think the Loire River Valley is a super place to start. I am going to be trying to get a hold of a Puyi Fume here shortly, and I assure you I'll be talking about it here on the channel. If you've watched this far, as always, thank you very much for your time. Um, live well, drink well, and be well.